What is going on Diablo 2 fans, Dobrunsky here, and today I just want to talk about my initial thoughts from playing the Diablo 2 Resurrected Alpha. I have basically like 7 hours in, I've just done a full playthrough with the Fire Sorceress and a little bit of Cold Sorceress. I've explored all the areas, I just want to kind of talk about some of the really cool features that I think they implemented, what I do like, and a few of the things that I noticed that I would like to see change in the future. Again, I only have like 6-7 hours of testing and I haven't extensively played it, but I just want to give you guys my initial thoughts and impressions. Quick reminder for those that don't know, I do stream it twice a week on Twitch, so if you enjoy me to do content or you want to catch some of the Diablo 2 Resurrected Alpha testing live, you can always hit me up with a follow. The link for my channel is of course in the description below, twitch slash debrunsky125. Any follows would be very much appreciated. But guys, hope you enjoy this video. Let's jump in! So the first thing that I want to mention is that right off the bat, when you fire up Diablo 2 Resurrected, you are basically greeted with a really cool character selection screen that changes based on the act that you're in and also the gear that you're wearing. So you can go back and forth between Act 1 and Act 2. Switching out your gear, it's going to be unique to your character and class and the act that you last played on. This is just a really cool way to just start things off. The next thing that I was absolutely blown away with, I will just say, in general, all of the environments and areas look phenomenal. They're just exactly like how I would want it, but with more content added to it. But one of the coolest things, and it is just so addicting to do, is to transition back and forth between the original game that's running underneath and, of course, the 3D engine that's over top. So there's so many cool spots like the waves and the galane, just areas when you're in town, uh, a lot of cool like additional blood that's added that you can see when you go back and forth. They really tried to, excuse me, stay true to that sort of 70-30 rule of it being 70% of the original content. And they did add a lot of new additional stuff, which I really do think makes the game just that much better. I also do think just in general, all of the new stuff that was added in regards to the character information screen, your inventory, the stash, quest hub, all that is really well done. I think it does a good job of staying true to the original game, but also just adding a little bit more polish. I mean, I'm sure some people might agree or disagree on like different skins and whether or not they like them. But overall, I do think that it does a really good job of paying back to the original game, but at the same time, just adding a little bit more flair to it. And then just quickly touching on some of the quality of changes, I really, really liked what they did to the mercenaries. If you actually open their inventory, it will show the skills that they use and also the support auras and the actual level and stat on those specific skills. I thought this was a really, really cool change. I can't tell you how many times I've been asked during my streams like, okay, so why did you go with a Nightmare Act 2 mercenary? Well, because it gives you a Holy Freeze aura. Well, what does a Holy Freeze aura do? Well, you can open up the screen. It'll show you the level, the amount of slowdown. So it, just a really, really cool way of expanding information on the mercenary and also in relation to that when you go to hire a mercenary we'll actually show you in the tooltip what different support orders are so again you'll know that an act 2 nightmare mercenary offensive is a might aura, or defensive is a holy freeze aura just a really cool way again of just expanding and adding more information to make everything a little bit more convenient for the player and lastly i just want to spend a little bit of time giving some positive criticism or feedback from the alpha testing so far Again, keep everything that I have to say with a grain of salt because I only have played like six or seven hours. The Sorceress, Fire and Gold, I haven't tested every build or fully explored every area yet, but I do have tons of hours playing regular Diablo 2. The first thing that I noticed is that some of these skill animations for the Sorceress, in particular Blizzard, specifically feel a little bit off to me. I haven't played Lightning yet, but Blizzard just feels small or kind of weak in comparison in terms of like the size of the ice particles. When you toggle back and forth between the legacy mode and 3d rendered version the second thing that i noticed is that when you take cold damage or freeze a monster instead of kind of being that standard blue you're used to with original diablo 2 it looks turquoise so again a very minor thing that can be fixed but definitely feels off to me the next thing is that telekinesis on portals causes the game to crash a minor bug that can probably easily be fixed but is a little bit annoying for people that like to play the sorceress because telekinesis is literally one of the greatest skills in the game and then the final thing that i want to mention is that i feel like in the future the game needs to be optimized a little bit more i did tune into several streams where a lot of them were chopping dropping frames or people had very long loading screens between different levels or areas of the game 
I largely think this is just because it's alpha testing. I think it'll be improved in the future. I didn't really have too much of an issue, but I have a pretty beefy streaming computer setup and not everybody has access to it. So I do hope for a little bit better of an optimized game in the future. Well, guys, there you have it. That wraps up today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about the Diablo 2 Resurrected Alpha so far. And if you didn't get included in the beta testing, hopefully you guys will get a shot in the future. I do hope that everyone gets a chance to play this. If not, you can always play it on the release date. But as always, if you guys could throw a like on this video, share it, and even consider subscribing if you're new to my channel. I post new weekly content on YouTube, and I stream twice a week on Twitch. So a follow on Twitch and sub on YouTube would be amazing. Other than that, guys, hope you have a fan freaking tastic day, and I'll catch you on my next video or live stream. Peace out.